Vikings make their first move of this free agency signing former Houston Texans star edge rusher Jonathan Greenard, who last year in 2023 had 12 and a half sacks, 15 tackles for losses, 22 quarterback hits. He'll be 27 next season. He's still a young guy. This is his second contract, first contract post rookie deal. And I was saying, oh, me likey. But I need to see the numbers. Talking about contract. Four years, $76 million, $42 million guaranteed. If you want to look at that and say, oh, that's maybe that's a little bit pricey. Why not bring back DJ Wanham? I understand that. But when you consider the cap inflation, nearly 14% increase compared to last year's cap space allowed, this is a very good deal. I like this move a lot. He did have an injury riddle 2022 season with ankle and calf injuries at one point placed on IR. He missed nine games that year. Also in 2021, he missed five games. Still, despite missing five games, he had eight sacks that season. So there could be some concern there as far as is he an injury prone player? Last year, he played in 15 games. Maybe. I think I'm okay with taking that risk for two reasons. The first being, this is the complete opposite of Marcus Davenport last year. When when the announcement was made, hey, he's coming to the Vikings, I was like, okay, he's injury prone. And even when he's on the field, he's very inconsistent. You don't know what you're going to get game in, game out from a guy like Marcus Davenport. When Greenard is on the field, he absolutely balls out. The second being, he's If this is going to be your Daniil Hunter replacement, he is three years younger, much cheaper than what Daniil Hunter is going to eventually get. If you can not let this be the standalone thing, but also still be in play, reportedly the Vikings are trying to go big after Christian Wilkins, D-tackle from the Miami Dolphins. If After Greener, you can still be in play to eventually sign Christian Wilkins. That would be huge. That would be massive. I'll take that over just signing Daniil Hunter and missing out over Christian Wilkins or someone else for that matter. I like this move a lot. This this could mean big things for the Vikings defense because if they do also get Wilkins, think about what that means in the draft. I, I mean... Byron Murphy, the second, Jarrett Verse, edge rusher, D-tackle. You have so many options to where you're not starting from square one. I, I, I hope this is spelling big things to come, but so far, I love it. Let's go.